Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a Caterpillar 320. C is the series. L is a long carriage. That means that this tractor's got a long carriage. Uh, the serial number of this machine is, uh, I'm going to give you the complete serial number. It's CAT0320. Uh, C like Charlie, P like Paul, E like Edward, AG0066. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. If you buy one of these tractors from me, this tractor or any of the other ones I've got for sale, you'll be dealing with a guy by the name of Pro Provencio. He's my operations manager, a right-hand man. Um, in this video, we're gonna describe this uh, machine in the first uh, clip. We'll go over the operating specs in the second, and then we'll run it in the third. Uh, price on a new machine like this these days is, uh, I don't know, 250, maybe 275,000. I don't, I hadn't priced them in a while, but I know they're up there. As far as manufacturers go, uh, Caterpillar is ubiquitous out there in the world of heavy construction mining equipment. Um, they build solid, reliable uh, tractors that uh, the resale value on a Caterpillar is second to none. I mean, you just can't get a better tractor that holds its value better than a Caterpillar, and that's because uh, they're just great machines. I mean, they're just built double tough and they, they last a long time. Uh, this particular machine has got 4,648 hours on the service meter. Um, it weighs 48,000 pounds. The widest point are these tracks right here at 10 foot 5 inches. Highest point is the top of that cab when it's in transport profile. Uh, the length of this tractor from the end of that counterweight over there to the uh, hinge on that knuckle on that arm when it's in transport profile is 33 feet. Comparable machines are like a Komatsu PC200, maybe a 210, that's what Komatsu's come up with now. A John Deere 200 or a 210, I think that's what John Deere's calling them now. Maybe an EX200 or an EX210 uh, Kabel, uh, um, Hitachi. As far as the history of this unit goes, like most of the machines we purchase, this machine is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it is not in any way, shape or form is rust pervasive on this machine. You'll see where the paint's flicked off of these uh, and the rainwater's gotten to it, but this machine, like I say, in no way, shape, or form is it rust pervasive. We're, we're 300 miles from the ocean. We're, all, we're far enough south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen tables. This unit comes from a very large, well-organized contractor here in the Metroplex. We have done a lot of business with these guys over the years, both buying and selling. It should be said that before I purchase any machine, my mechanics thoroughly inspect it, and then, uh, if it checks out okay, then Pro goes out and he inspects it. And if he says it's okay and the money's right, then I personally go out and inspect it before I write a check. As far as options go, you can see this tractor's got channel guards right here, kind of to protect the, uh, the, the body of the, the tractor. It's got vandal covers right here. Those things, uh, actually, you can cover the cab up. Um, it's got, a, it's got a coupler over here, this JRB coupler right here. This JRB coupler, the, the reason, uh, you can see the JRB right here. These couplers are the best in the industry. They're second to none. As a matter of fact, Caterpillar makes their own couplers. Most customers prefer JRB. John Deere builds their own couplers. Most customers prefer JRB. 
Um, Komatsu builds their own couplers. Most customers, they get, they get them to put JRB. If you know anything about couplers, you know this is a bulletproof system. It's a great, great coupler. Um, another option on this machine is, uh, it is cloud. The AC blows cold. Heater, heater works. Another option is that these, these, these shoes right here on this tractor are wider than standard. These are wider than standard pads. And it is a long carriage machine, like I said earlier. So that helps you with your, uh, your lifting capacity, with the stability of the machine. Um, uh, ground pressure, um, I think uh, the regular pads are like, I don't know, six or seven PSI, and with these pads, they're, they're um, another option right here is that you got a, I think the PSI is maybe four or five. Uh, you got a disconnect here, battery disconnect. Uh, you got a pattern control change valve right here. Here's the thing, for, let me show them this. There's a, there's a 12 volt outlet in the cab here. Forgot to mention that. Um, trying to think what else, what other options they got, bro? Heater and AC work great. Yeah, I said that. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> going to kill it? Okay, here's a, uh, a compartment right here that you can fit a small car in. I got a pretty big hand. I don't know if you can see the. There's your vandal cards again. Guards. There's your diesel tank. Um, this is a Caterpillar 3066 uh, diesel engine. It's a bulletproof engine. Tried and true and tested. Uh, this unit's got a 105 gallon uh, fuel tank. I believe the uh, horsepower on that is uh, 138 gross horsepower. I can't can't remember specifically. Okay, so um, this machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks on it. Everything works. The undercarriage right here is about 75%, as you can see. Can go ahead and get under there and show the pins and the bushings, please. say 65 to 75% on the undercarriage. Show this side too, bro. Like I say, the final drives have got plenty of power, enabling them to counter rotate. The hydraulics are strong. There's no cracks anywhere in the work equipment. This bucket right here is, um, this bucket has got a uh, 39 inch uh, uh, bite right now. It's got this cutting edge on it. You can take that cutting edge off and put teeth on it if you want it. Uh, with the side cutters, it's probably about a 42 inch bucket. Uh, the depth of this bucket is 55 inches. The height to the top of this uh, bucket is 52 inches. Uh, I would rate this maybe about a yard and a half uh, size bucket. Uh, maximum digging depth on this machine is 22 feet. Maximum reach at ground level from the center of the swing there is uh, 37 feet. Maximum dig height is 32 feet. The breakout force on this tractor is 30,000 pounds. And the maximum lifting capacity of this, if this machine was right about where it sits right now is about 23,000 pounds at ground level. Of course, the higher you go, the further out you go, it's going to drop off. But 
That'll give you an idea. Again, the shoe width here is 31 and a half inches. The track on the ground is 14 inches. And the PSI rating on this, uh, I wanna say it's four pounds. Don't quote me on that. I think that's what it is. Uh, what else, bro? It's a good running machine. A lot of power, like it. Okay, we're gonna run it in the next clip.
this is the inside of the cab. This is actually a travel, it's not an auxiliary hydraulic. Um, here's all your controls, your RPM. I'm gonna have this up in order for it to start. somebody's way. Here's your uh, power meter. Yeah, you don't gotta move it. Oh, you're good? I'm just unloading it and then taking it right back off. Okay, all right, thanks, man. No problem. So this is the uh, cab. This AC is blowing nice and cold. Here's your JRB coupler right here. Here's your two 12 volt outlets. There's your uh, seat. Manual right there. Not sure what kind of manual that is. 